Los Angeles International Airport. Most likely your first thought when air travel in Southern California comes to mind. But just 20 miles to the south sits another airport serving nearly 4 million passengers a year with a rich history in aviation. We call ourselves the premier gateway to Southern California. We're like a little boutique airport. That's Lindsay Phillips, the public affairs officer for Long Beach Airport, where we get to see up close what makes this place so special. Long Beach Airport is unique because we don't have jet bridges. We have these air stairs and ramps that travelers use, so they're out in the element, in the open air. They could feel the breeze while they're boarding. People could actually touch the plane before they're about to get on their flight. It's a really cool and unique experience. That experience dates back to the early 1900s when planes took off and landed right on the beach. Up until 1920, when the city teamed up with local flight school owner Earl Doherty to build a flying field. In 1941, after major growth, the full-fledged Long Beach Airport opened its now historic terminal, which still stands today. In the decades since, that history has been carefully maintained along with the retro air travel experience for passengers. Back in the 1920s when the airport opened, this is how they boarded their small planes and here we are today, boarding the same way. Most travelers, when they say something they love about Long Beach Airport, it's this, it's being able to board this way, it's kind of like old school. Southwest Airlines has the largest presence at LGB and makes the most of the old school boarding to benefit its customers. Southwest does dual boarding at Long Beach Airport, which they don't do at all airports. Travelers can board on both sides of the aircraft at the same time, which saves time boarding. But Long Beach doesn't just make getting on and off your flight super easy. A laid back vibe has been created throughout the airport. When travelers get off their flight, they're gonna be welcome to, I would say 90% of the time, blue skies, and they're gonna make their way straight into our outdoor concourse, which is full of a beautiful palm tree garden. It's really uniquely Southern California. For travelers who, it's their first time to California, I think it's a really good welcome. It's a really special space. We have a fire pit right behind you. We have our beautiful Fly LGB sign that our travelers can take selfies with. Travelers can actually go to their gate, check it out, grab some food, come out here, have a drink, wait for their flight, and then head back in when they're ready. And speaking of grabbing food, Long Beach has made dining here something special. So even though we're a small airport, we have a lot of food options. All of our food our local eateries of Long Beach. We're supporting the local businesses. You won't find a Starbucks or a McDonald's here. A modern new ticketing lobby and baggage claim area opened in 2022, but the improvements don't end there. LGB is currently renovating its original terminal building, which was declared a historic landmark by the city in 1990. And it's going to still have that 1920s, 1940s feel to it, but it'll be new and improved and streamlined for our travelers. What we really focus on is the traveler experience and the customer experience. We're a small airport. We're limited on the amount of flights we have per day. A lot of the times when you're flying out of here, you might only see one plane out here. Want a piece of Long Beach Airport for yourself? How about O'Hare or DFW? Is JFK more your style? Now you can turn your love of airports and aviation into actual art in your home or office, thanks to our friends at 08 Left. Inspired by a passion for air travel, 08 Left has crafted beautifully detailed renderings of airports and their towers that you can proudly display. At 08left.com, you'll find all of AVL's SoCal favorites, including LGB and, of course, LAX. And let's not forget SFO. With hundreds of airports and towers from around the globe, you're sure to find your favorite printed on fine art grade poster or premium metal in various sizes and multiple color options. You'll also find over 90 different aircraft in stunning detail. And right now with coupon code AVL, you'll get 15% off your order. Just visit the link in the description to transform your space into an aviation art gallery with 08 Left. Thanks to 08 Left for sponsoring today's video. 
with limited flights and just 11 gates. Long Beach Airport is definitely small when it comes to commercial air travel. But sitting on nearly 1,200 acres, there is a large amount of property to maintain and keep safe. We are the air care apron of the Long Beach Airport. We get to ride along with LGB Ops Specialist Ricardo Curiel as he performs his daily inspections. Say it's been a tumbleweed day. Ah, starting with looking for debris or FOD. Anything that's not natural to the ground here is called FOD. Right. So we got to throw this in the trash. You get stuff that comes over the fence line, you have stuff that the passengers drop or stuff that will break off the baggage carts. The engines could suck up the trash and it could cause damage to the aircraft, which obviously you don't want that. Metal like this could cause harm to an aircraft. This right here could actually fly off and go onto the runway next to us. We're actually picking up a lot of FOD that's coming off of your guys' stuff. Oh, okay. Like this one. See? Like, that's a little FOD pieces. If you guys see it later, you guys know. Okay. Cool. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. It's like cops, but for operations. Big beards, big beards. <laughs> I'm also looking at the electrical connections, making sure they're not broken or frayed. And we're making sure nobody's out here smoking or doing anything they're not supposed to be doing. Just the overall safety of the aviation community here at the airport. So right now I'm going to do a perimeter check going the opposite way. Back in the ops truck, Ricardo tells us he's been doing this for 21 years. I love the job, I love the people, I love the airport. It's amazing, it's a different thing every day. And you get the sunset with that. No extra charge. How big is the airfield here? Uh, driving around is like 8.7 miles uh, all the way around. The perimeter itself is 9.2 miles around. The terminal's pretty small, but your airfield. Yeah, the airport's huge. It's not just passenger aircraft that fly out here. There's a lot of GA. You have these pilots who just want to go to Catalina or they want to go up north and visit family. Nearly 90% of daily flights at LGB are general aviation or private aircraft, in addition to flight schools, government, and cargo operations by UPS. They run one operation a day. You see the whole work crew out here getting people's uh, gifts and packages out of the way. Their thing too we check here for is holes on their fence. Wildlife can also be a hazard. There's actually a dig out from uh, either a coyote or rabbits. So I plugged it in the other day. I wanted to see it got disturbed, but it looks like Wally Coyote didn't come back today, so we're good. We have a lot of gophers here. We have a lot of rabbits, the hawks, and you know all the other predatory birds. The airport has a wildlife abatement program that safely removes animals, like this trap for hawks. And they'll put some kind of bait in there, some uh, hawk seed or other stuff. What they call this will snap and trap them in place without hurting them. So the hawks will get in there. Our wildlife biologists will come in and driving them out. Long Beach Ground Operations 2-4 on Primer Road of Beam Delta 2. I can proceed on Delta. Getting tower approval to access taxiways, we roll on with inspections. You gotta know what you're looking for when you're driving out here. So these guys could pop out of nowhere, they could come in behind you. Your head always has to be in a swivel. We then get some interesting Hollywood history. They film Transformers right there too. They film G.I. Joe, so many different movies around here. In addition to the movies, there's also a storied aviation history here. This is where uh, Boeing used to be, and then McDonnell Douglas was here before them. Now this used to be the C-17 plant. Correct. Boeing C-17 Air Force transport plane was built here in the 80s and the 90s, and is also where McDonnell Douglas manufactured the DC-10 and MD-11. Now it's all manufacturing, delivery. So 21 years, this place has changed a lot. How you doing? Say yourself. This right here is our SCAP, it's our Civil Air Patrol line. So these are like search and rescue. So anytime there's an alert signal that goes up, these guys go searching around. Long Beach Ground Operations 2 for at Eagle Aviation. I proceed over to Kilo 1. As the sky darkens, Ricardo begins a runway light inspection. You got the pink hour, not even the golden hour. It's one of the perks of working swing shift. So right now you're looking for... I'm looking at the reflectivity on the markings and also the lights. And we're looking at all the signs, making sure they're all working. And then while we're doing all that, I have to listen up for the radio and making sure there's no aircraft coming our way. And then the most important thing we're looking at is the beacon on the top of the tower. Make sure that's a nice green glow on the other side. Everything looking good? Everything looking good so far. And while the focus now is lighting, FOD is a never-ending battle. A little twix. See, everything makes it out here. With the candy wrapper out of the way, we continue on. Let me start operations. 2-4, Lima 1 for 4 length of 3-0. Proceed on to runway 3-0. Having a good time. 
This is pretty awesome. When you're out here so long, you actually know where all the lights are at, so if something's not there, it just pops up automatically. Alpha Delta. Alpha Delta, Alpha, 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 Alpha C4, and I'll be ready for eight left in a minute or two. It's then on to the final runway inspection for the night. And the real thing too we're looking for is if there's any like lasers up in the sky. With everything looking good. Two, four, clear of eight left. Cleared off the perimeter road, I'll be back in a few minutes. Our evening with Ricardo and LGB Ops is complete. We want to thank everyone with the Long Beach Airport for a very interesting and laid back look at this uniquely Southern California airport. If you really want a stress-free travel experience where you can get sometimes from curb to gate in 10 minutes, if you want to experience Southern California the way that it's supposed to be, choose Long Beach Airport, fly LGB.